Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. So I hope that you're all doing great today. And so we will be talking about these two disturbances in Vest 91L as well as that wave that is given a medium chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone. And so before I go into details, Alright, so let us go ahead and start out with current satellite imagery of the North Atlantic Basin. So we are seeing that there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity that is taking place in diverse areas. We see that uh, just off the coast of Africa associated with that tropical wave. We see Invest 91L and in portions of the Western Caribbean there is also some shower and thunderstorm activity. But that area that was marked for possible development is no longer there because that low pressure area is expected to form inland. And once it forms inland then it is unlikely that we will be seeing any tropical cyclone development all right so let us go ahead and talk about these disturbances in a bit of detail starting out with this one here so this wave has just emerged off the coast of Africa and so uh, as of right now it is given a 40% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone however it really has limited time because uh, it is going to be approaching cooler waters as it makes its way to the west northwest so we could see some development take place of this Maybe this could become a tropical depression. However, uh, it is not expected to maintain that status for a very long time because, again, unfavorable conditions are up ahead for it. And so, uh, in terms of the Cabo Verde Islands, though, uh, it is likely that by tomorrow the island chain will be experiencing a lot of heavy rainfall as a result of this disturbance and looking at a closer view of it just off the coast of Africa here we have all of this shower and thunderstorm activity that is taking place and we should be on the lookout for more of these systems as we are going to be progressing into the month of September all right and let us go ahead now and talk about invest 91 else and on the five-day outlook we're seeing here that it is given an 80% chance to possibly develop into a tropical cyclone so the chance remains high for this to develop even though uh, the environment ahead of it is not highly conducive but uh, it is expected to be conducive enough to enable it to intensify into a tropical storm and so a general west northwestward to northwestward motion is expected of the system so it is not expected to uh, move into the Caribbean or up to the east coast of the US however I would say that Bermuda should definitely be keeping an eye on this. And so we're going to be taking a look at how conducive conditions are and then we'll be looking at what the main models are expecting for Invest 91L and also that wave that uh, has emerged off Africa. So here we're taking a look at the ocean temperature map and we're seeing that uh, across most of the main development region going to the Caribbean, the Gulf and off the East Coast is very warm right now, especially that area uh, where you're seeing those slight pink shades that indicates ocean waters of 30 going to 31 degrees celsius very conducive because tropical cyclones only need waters of at least 26 and a half degrees celsius thereabouts so uh, ocean temperatures are definitely conducive and in terms of 91 l that's not going to be a problem but as for the wave that emerged off africa it will be approaching cooler waters so it's going to be moving right into that region where we see 26 25 celsius and so that's not very favorable uh, ocean waters those are much cooler than what we would usually want for tropical cyclones uh, when they're going to be developing but let's see if this is going to be pulling through and intensifying uh, maybe into a tropical depression possibly even a tropical storm but a very weak one at that so we'll see what's going to eventually happen with that system now going on to the dry air map and we're seeing that we have quite a bit of dry air out there uh, and this has been the dominant inhibiting factor throughout most of this hurricane season and we see that we have a pocket of dry air that is is entering the Caribbean so islands of the Eastern Caribbean are likely being blanketed right now uh, with a lot of dry air uh, maybe some hazy skies and that limit in shower and thunderstorm activity and if we go back to the satellite imagery of the Caribbean we would see where things are clear within that region because uh, in all that dry air, it is not likely that we will have significant shower and thunderstorm development. So uh, we're seeing that right there is clear. However, going more to the central and western Caribbean, we see a lot more moisture within that area. So we have that pocket of dry air. And it is also going to be a little bit of a problem for 91L. We see 91L right in that region. And it is not really coming together, but it is producing all of that disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity. So we'll see what is going to be eventually happening with that disturbance. But we have quite a bit of dry air out there for that wave that just emerged off Africa so environmental conditions are not the very best for both of these systems and then talking about the wind shear now 
So the green indicates favorable shear, the yellow means neutral, and the red means unfavorable. So uh, again, things are not very conducive ahead of 91L, at least while it is going to be trying to head to north of the Caribbean thereabout. So we'll have to wait and see what's going to be eventually happening with this one, but it is likely that we will be seeing a tropical cyclone eventually uh, come from the system. Although I don't think that we will have an imminent cyclone, but maybe by the end of this week when the system is in more conducive conditions, Conditions, maybe north of the Eastern Caribbean, then we could start to see some intensification. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the various models are expecting for both of these, but we're really focusing on GFS and Euro. All right, so this is Friday, the 2nd of September, and we are looking for those black lines called isobars uh, when they're in that circular manner and they have a pressure of at least 10, 13 millibars or lower, uh, then we could be looking at a tropical cyclone. And the closer we have the isobars uh, and the lower the pressure is, that indicates a stronger system. So Friday the 2nd of September, GFS is expecting that we will be having 91L uh, being to the north east of the eastern caribbean and so uh, we're seeing that it is well offshore so maybe the other bands won't even cause much trouble to the various islands and behind it there we have that wave uh, with a pressure of 1007 millibars and so heading to tuesday of next week the 6th of september gfs is expecting that we will be having the system with a pressure of 966 millibars here and so this is potentially going to be affecting bermuda as we head into next week so we'll definitely have to wait and see what is going to be eventually happening but as i said bermuda you definitely have to be on watch for this system because it could bring some impacts to your area gfs here showing this pressure that uh is indicating a strong hurricane at that and as for that wave we're seeing a pressure here of a thousand nine millibars maybe a weak tropical storm out there and so headed to thursday of next week on the 8th we're seeing that gfs is expecting that this thing here is going to be making its way out into the open waters and so uh let's go ahead and see what euro is anticipating for the system and so heading to saturday the 3rd of september we're seeing here that euro is expecting that we will be having uh this low pressure area maybe of a thousand eight millibars and it's not very strong uh, you're is expecting oh, that uh, maybe that dry air and that not so favorable upper level winds they will be taking a toll on the system but as for the wave behind it we're not seeing much organization of it headed to Wednesday the 7th of September we're seeing here that uh, we have a more compact system in terms of that wave that recently merged off Africa so by that time you're ex uh, is expecting that we will be having a more compact system being out there not posing a threat to land but as for 91L by that time maybe we will be having a tropical storm within the area and then going to friday the 9th of september euro is expecting that we will be having the system with a pressure of 1003 millibars approaching bermuda so uh some intensification right there so maybe some more favorable conditions within that area in terms of the ocean temperatures more moisture as well as those up uh, favorable upper level winds but look out at that in the main development region is that another system may be trying to develop by that time so this is the time of year to look out for those systems so we'll see what happens by then but as of right now uh, you're is expecting that the system will be uh, approaching the island of bermuda maybe by friday uh, contrasting what gfs is expecting so gfs is expecting that it is going to be early next week when we see the system making its closest approach to bermuda so we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening guys but if we have nice 91L indeed developing into a tropical storm. It will be according to the name Danielle. And uh, there is no guarantee that what we're seeing now in terms of the model runs is going to be the uh, eventual outcome. So as time goes by, there will be a clearer picture of what to anticipate. And so that is really it for this update's video. And if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be otherwise and I will keep you updated as time goes by. Bye.